Ashe. Hello to all Scorpios. I am Destiny777 Tarot and this is my tarot channel. Okay. Um, yes, if you guys are not aware, I am a Sagittarius sun, but I want to extend my services to all zodiac signs, so I'm deciding to do briefly just go through each zodiac sign and provide a reading. And if you guys like my energy, if the reading resonates, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on so you can be aware when I do post and you won't miss any of my readings. Okay, um, do be advised that you have to be 18 years or older to watch my tarot channel, okay, or have permission from parents to watch tarot for me, if you're going to watch my channel, okay, guys? So, thank you. I hope this reading is reaching you guys. I get energy, good vibes, good health, okay? I'm back again, back again with another video, another video, another, 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 another video. Another video, another video, another, 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 another video. <laughs> hello, hello, hello again. I shade to everybody. Thank you all for even taking the time out to view this video. Okay, guys. Thank you all for even, you know, if you are already a Scorpio and you're subscribed to the channel, I thank you. Okay, for even subscribing to the channel, okay? I really appreciate it, guys. So I'm just taking this time to shuffle. Back. It looks like I'm going to be pulling for my tarot. Part. Scorpios. Thank you all for the love and support that you are showing me if you're already subscribed to the channel. Thank you for your constant likes. Okay, guys, make sure you're sharing the video. Please be advised that if you're looking for a more in-depth reading, you can check any video in the description box where you will find my email. Also, guys, my cash app is here. You can to donate to the channel. I am taking donations. Thank you very much, guys. All of the love and support. I am now currently at 439 subscribers. So, yay. <laughs> I'm really, really, really happy about that. I'm growing. So if you guys like my energy, make sure you come along on the journey. We are all a family here, okay? Positive vibes only. If you have nothing else to say, please don't say anything at all, guys. Okay. So now that we had that conversation, <laughs> let me shuffle the hidden truth horrible at this time. In my time frame, hold the deck, shuffle the cards. Excuse any background noise, Scorpio. I am going to take this time to cleanse the energy with the Santo Pablo stick. I ordered myself a 20 pack for $13 off Amazon. If anyone is interested, that that's where I got my sticks from. They also have sage on there. That's good. I've used, and if you've been on my channel long enough, white sage a lot. So, it makes me really sleepy, but if you're interested, Scorpio. Okay? So, let's just begin. We're going to start off first with the tarot at this time, Scorpios. What's the message? What's the message? My Scorpios. Scorpio, you made a decision. I feel like somebody wants to knock you off balance at this time, Scorpio, or they're trying to. Someone that's holding on to your energy that you're walking away from. The Eight of Cups here. What else is here for Scorpio's energy? Thank you. All right, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, along with the Seven of Pentacles. Upright. So you guys can be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or Taurus Virgo Capricorn and Tali aspect in your birth chart. So check your birth charts, guys. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse as well, too. So 
All right. What I feel is going on, Scorpio, is that somebody was working on some type of project, okay? It could have been like a group of people or just you or this person, all right? They were working on some type of project. It could be a cancer, guys, that you're dealing with or you have a highly aspected in your birth chart with a chariot. It looks to me that whatever it was that was being worked on, a decision was made with the Two of Swords here. Okay, something is literally already set in motion. But whoever was working extremely hard on some type of project, a group of people or just one person, okay, whoever just recently lost a job as well, with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like this person has some karma to face. Bad karma, ace of wands in reverse, trials and tribulations to face in the near future. Okay, and the divine was sending warnings to someone here. Could be a Scorpio, guys, or another energy, but it could be a, a, a Cancer as well with the chariot here. Somebody, the divine was like intervening in the situation and warning someone. This is warning. Or they're warning someone now. Could I find the seven of pentacles, please? Thank you. In reverse. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So, either this is your person or this is someone around you guys. But, Scorpio, it looks like you need to go on Hermit mode to get some more answers with the Hermit here. You guys could also be dealing with a Virgo. But it seems to me that you guys need to go on Hermit mode because someone's trying to delay you. And could be trying to, call, like, draw you out. And then, like, also, like, surround you with gossip about somebody here. <clears throat> this person is very cold. This could, if this is an, another energy. But, yeah. Ace of Wands in the reverse, please. Thank you. So, yeah. Whatever it was that they were trying to do, it backfired. Okay? It failed. With the Wheel of Fortune here, the tables are turning on someone or this is your energy. Oh, God, to apply the rules how they fit, though. But we have the Tower here in reverse. So a situation definitely took a turn for the worse for somebody here. And I feel like it's the Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, I feel like some tables have turned when it comes to... Whatever it was that this Knight of Pentacles got their stuff into, they can they could have been involved with two women, how they were living their life, what path to actually go on or take here. Somebody made a decision. Can I find a two of pentacles? Two of swords. Where's the two of swords? Thank you. In reverse. Hmm. The Empress and the Emperor. So either some 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 of you have Aries highly aspected in your birth chart, or Scorpio, you're dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with someone that is a mother figure. Could be dealing with a Taurus too, guys. But you're dealing with some type of mother figure here. Yeah. Two of Cups in reverse. So there's going to be a divorce or some type of relationship that get, that gets broken up between a mother and a child or yeah there's slow communication and slow movement somebody doesn't even want to have sex page of swords in reverse i do feel like there's an individual that is scorpio i don't know if this is your energy or someone else's energy but it is coming off like it's this third party energy it could be a mother figure a baby mama or just a a woman that you're dating with children or a man, guys. A part of those that they fit. It could be a woman. It could be a male. But somebody here, the empress. Somebody who has children or they're pregnant right now. I feel like this person is trying to draw you in unnecessary arguments. Page of swords in reverse. They're trying to be toxic. Create delays. Yeah. You got the four of wands upright. You're definitely married to someone, Scorpios, or 
the person that you're dealing with is married. Clarify the four of wands. Thank you. Yeah, somebody is really devastated, sad. They're focusing on loss a lot at this time because they wanted another. Yeah, there's another energy here, Scorpio. Someone wanted you to be like with them, I guess. Or they just. Somebody didn't want you to grow and ascend the way that you did. We have judgment on the, at the bottom of the deck. Someone's judging themselves, yeah, for being a player. I feel like you went and got involved with someone, Scorpio, or somebody got involved with somebody else in some player energy. It could be male or female. And it it's like, or this is how someone wanted you to be. You was doing it to make somebody happy or you was doing it thinking that it made you happy. If I felt like it did at one point, but you grew and you ascend or you're growing, you're ascending and it's making somebody else sad. You know, I feel like this could be a third party or a group of people. Something is going on here. But Scorpio, you're judging yourself and you're releasing someone else along the way. So Pentacles in reverse. Feel how the judgment in reverse, please. After like yeah, someone's restless here because they feel like they know they because they know they're being released. Yeah, they wanted to try. They're stressed out at this time. They also wanted to try to keep you stuck with the high priestess in reverse. They wanted to block your intuition. Also, they wanted to block you off from this marriage, this soulmate, this relationship, your true divine counterpart. Yeah, someone's thoughts are very chaotic at this time regarding some type of relationship. Yeah, it's a third party. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But there's a third party that wants to reconcile. They're heartbroken. This could be a father figure as well that know that they're being released with the chariot. Or oh, this father figure wants you to release another energy here could be a cancer they're coming in with bad news we have the devil the knight of swords in reverse with the six of swords swords reverse so yeah you know this person is coming in with toxic toxicities addiction scorpio you know this person is toxic could be a capricorn as well they're just coming in to make you doubt yourself lose confidence Okay, you know you need to go to Karma Waters as well, Scorpio. This is someone else's energy. Ace of Pentacles, please. We got the Page of Swords in reverse here. They're trying to bring about unnecessary arguments in your life and just gossip your way or involve you in it in some way, some shape or form. Because this person's thoughts are very chaotic. This other energy. They could, be being, they could be being very deceptive as well, too. Seven of Cups is here upright. Yeah, you maybe maybe you feel like this individual is trying to make you fantasize, but you're withdrawing away from that. You don't want to accept any offers from this person. You could also be literally ignoring someone, literally ignoring them, having them blocked because you know that this person is deceptive, sneaky. You know that they refuse to take orders from anybody else. This person is someone who feels like they don't need the, the approval of others to do anything. They do what they want to do. Yeah, they, they cross boundaries, Scorpio. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. This is exactly why you probably don't even want to deal with this person. Ace of swords, queen of swords, excuse me. This person is going to come in cloaking their energy. Like they just want to talk, like they have your best interest at heart. Queen of swords, please tell about this queen of swords. Yeah, but they're really the queen of pentacles in reverse. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody who is just... um. Very money hungry or losing a lot of money. Somebody is just worried about some money, finances. But you're sailing away. You're moving forward. You're going towards, and you're optimistic. You're happy about it. You're going towards your soulmate. Lovers here. This person could have Gemini, Holly, Aspect, and no bird chart. They could be someone that's on camera or has some type of fame. They get celebrated. This individual that you're going towards. Yep, Six of Wands came out again, guys. Let's clarify the Two of Cups in reverse, please with the emperor thank you yeah all that spell work has been backfired okay reversed the 
return back to sender. Yep. Against a queen of wands energy, a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Yeah, this person is very respectful. They demand respect. This individual can be hot-headed at times. This queen of wands energy. But this is someone that, you know, is very smart. Okay? This individual is intelligent. Page of Cups. Somebody's bringing in some information. It's a queen of cups energy. Water sign. Could be a... a Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Pisces. Could be an air sign as well, guys. But yeah. This individual is also in the Eight of Cups energy in reverse. They could be losing a lot of money or feel like they're going to lose a lot of money. They're coming in being all jittery and happy. But this is childlike energy as well. This person is very childish. This other individual. Individual. But they're losing faith and hope at this time with the star here in reverse. Get out a wheel of fortune, please, guys. Ancestors, thank you. Yeah, three of cups in reverse. That third party interference, third party energy is over. Okay? There will be no celebrating. Somebody is going off on a journey. It could be an Aries. Aries, this is your energy. You're going off on a journey. Yeah, it's definitely an Aries here. Cross watches, you are welcome. Or some of you Scorpios are dealing with the Aries. Or have Aries highly aspected in your birth chart somewhere. So check that out. Okay, Scorpios. But yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We got the six of cups in reverse. These people wanted to keep you stuck. Or somebody wanted to keep someone stuck. Someone could also be saying, I'm, I'm sticking to my family. Or this is my family. Like They look at you like your family. They love you. They want children with you. They want a family with you. Okay, and another individual is being extremely deceptive at this time. This other energy, this third party interference, this third party. Okay, they could be crying out to the moon at night. They're playing on your emotions as well with the five of swords upright. They know that you feel sad for having to leave them out, and they're using that to that to their advantage, Scorpio. Stay by the ten of cups. Yeah, bad news. Things going downhill. Yeah. These group of people that was trying to work and come against someone, they're now going against each other. Collab collaboration is over. Something was a good idea, now it's a burden, okay? Some of you guys could be in this energy, or you are a Sagittarius watching, or have Sagittarius highly aspected in your birth chart somewhere. Yeah, we got the seven, the nine of um, wands upright. Somebody's coming in with fast communication, fast movement. They want a sexual encounter with you. Yeah, page of pentacles in reverse. This person is trying to draw you in unnecessary arguments. They're being toxic. This could also be about someone that recently lost some type of job. Page of pentacles in the reverse, guys, is great. Oh, excuse me. It's bad news, immature, lacking common sense, unworkable plan, and failing. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that you guys are dealing with. But in a relationship, this person is great, loyal, and faithful between... Yeah, it, you, you guys are going to, yeah. If you're dating someone, if you're in a relationship with someone, if you meet someone, this person is going to bring, like, this person is going to be fruitful in your life. You guys are going to be abundant, okay? Loyalty and faithfulness between you two. Okay, let's continue, uh, Scorpios. Page of Pentacles. They want, yeah, this person could be, they're trying to come in and get some from you. This definitely could be a Pisces, guys. I have Hangman here. They're trying to keep you stuck also. One second, guys. Let's get some information on this Hangman, please, Scorpios. The hangman, major arcana. Upright, this person is feeling trapped, uncertainty, letting go, needing relief. Okay. If you're in a relationship with this energy, they're unhappy with how your relationship, you, you could be unhappy with how your relationship is going, or they are. 
you and your partner may be feeling the need to take a step back. Science associated with the hangman is Pisces. In reverse, this is making rash decisions, impulsive jumping from one bad situation to the next without considering the consequence from your behavior. Relationships, I mean, excuse me, reluctant to tackle. Yeah, so you guys could be definitely struggling. There, there's a, a Pisces individual that it's like once they get a hold of you, they try to keep you trapped. Or this is what they're planning on doing. Somebody could be trying to chop someone into having a baby as well. Or somebody got pregnant by trapping another individual. The baby probably is not yours or it is. But it was by some type of betrayal. Force. But we have the... Um, the world here with the Ten of Swords upright. Something was done at night. Okay, well, this person used to betray you. And someone wants this person to go back in that energy. So this will definitely be some type of cheating, guys, that was going on. Somebody committed adultery. Yeah, some indulging was going on, guys. This was definitely cheating. Okay, this person could be married, could be a Scorpio. We have the death card out here. Whatever was going on, somebody wants to put a stop to it. Or they did put a stop to it because we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This person that you were indulging with wants to, or this is your energy, guys, wants to reconcile, okay? They want to forgive and forget with the Eight of Cups energy. They want to try again aimlessly in the situation, but I feel like you, Scorpio, or this other person, somebody here wants to put a stop to it, okay? Because they feel like they're being held back in some type of way. Two of Swords, Wands. Yeah, there's a Pisces that's definitely fearful of some type of change. Fear of something new coming about, and they're stressed out at this time. They're trying to keep the Sagittarius stuck. Or there's some energy here, Scorpio, that's trying to keep you stuck. They want to keep you trapped. You could definitely have Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius aspect and Scorpio in your birth chart somewhere. But that's definitely what's going on here, guys. I feel like that's also the overall message here. Let's keep going. I feel like um, you guys, Scorpio... Well, this could be the other person. Somebody found their strength about moving on from a situation. All right? And this other energy that wants you to forgive and forget, they're going to be disappointed because that's not what's going to happen here. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. With the Six of Wands in reverse, that's not going to happen at all. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, please. Guys, and so this person is extremely codependent. And this is injustice that's being done. They're coming in with this hovering energy trying to hover over someone here because they feel left out in the cold abandoned and they could be losing a lot of money or they crying down saying they lost this they lost that we all got all got problems but somebody here has libra highly aspected in their birth chart with the justice here clarify this injustice for scorpio's energy and such this guy god give me some clear messages at this time thank you yeah, there's a really, really codependent energy in your in your masculine's energy, in your energy. This person is rushing in at this time, being really irrational, fast, um, being very forceful. Okay. That's about a nine of swords here. Guides, ancestors, God. Somebody is trying to literally come and just. Change how someone is, not of swords, but you find your happiness, you know what makes you happy. Okay, it could be a Leo involved here that's protecting you in some type of way. I feel like you're gonna be extremely emotional, Scorpio, or somebody else is gonna be extremely emotional because you're releasing someone. I feel like it doesn't bother you to move forward, though, Scorpio. It doesn't bother you to want more or to feel like you need more for yourself. What's the overall message here for my Scorpios that's watching at this time? Ancestors, guys, God. Please give me a clear message. Overall message is that someone is losing faith and hope in themselves and or the divine because of whatever isn't going so long way. They're going to feel left out in the pole, abandoned. Okay, it could be a Virgo or Pisces that's going to feel this way, guys. 
Scorpio. Give me the outcome of our message, please. Over our message is that, yeah, somebody going to be up at night, losing sleep, crying, feeling sad, feeling abandoned, not rest restless because they, they couldn't ruin someone's relationship. That's why somebody's upset. They couldn't come in between two people. They want, yeah, they, these two people is protected. This is divine intervention. This whole marriage, this situation is protected. These two people are soulmates. Gemini energy is here. Yeah. And that's just that. Somebody can also be mad because they can't watch anymore or they don't know what's going on. Or all that projection that they were doing didn't work. What's the messages here for Scorpio? I'm pulling some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay, Scorpios. Thank you all for watching and viewing the video. If it resonated, take it resonate and leave what doesn't. Do not accept anything in your energy that does not resonate. Okay, Scorpios. Also, um, I want to let all of you know, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn your post notifications on. All right? So you can be notified whenever I upload. All right. I replay our conversations over and over. I left when I saw you with someone else. With someone. You were the best thing in my life. I feel you leaving me behind. I am afraid to contact you. I love you unconditionally. So that came out in the reverse, guys. I don't know. I want you. At the bottom of the deck, it's time for me to heal now. All right, Scorpio. So that's your reading. Um, Yeah. I hope this resonated with you. I'm going to pull some messages, though, from the Time Frame Oracle deck. Give me some messages, please. For my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Guides, ancestors. Two months, Scorpio. That's what came out for you guys. And at the bottom of the deck, I have give yourself more self-love. Once that happens, then within a year. All right, guys. So, thank you all for even taking the time out to view the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Turn your post notifications on. All right. For my new subscribers, thank you all. For my returning subs um, subscribers or viewers, thank you all for even taking the time out to view the video. I really appreciate it. Remember to hit that like button. All right, guys. Come along on the journey. We are all a family here. All positive vibes. Constructive criticism, positivity, always, any day, all day, guys. All right. Very positive energy over here. <laughs> all right, Scorpios. Thank you all again. I'm sending you nothing but love and light. Please remember to continue to cleanse your energy. Take care of yourself. Drink a lot of water, guys. Stay hydrated as possible. All right, Scorpios. Invest in your protective gear as well, guys, as well, guys. Okay? Make sure you guys are taking your spiritual baths ritualistically. And if you want to go and offer someone some Knight of Cups energy, it could be somebody with Six of Wands energy, you go right ahead. Okay, Scorpios? You go right ahead and you do what's best for you and you live your life. No spell work is going to form that forms against you is going to be a fight. All right, Scorpio, I shake.